Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today we're going to do a quality review of the 2023 Model 3 Standard Range LFP battery. All right, guys, I'll start this off uh, by saying that this is my third Tesla now. Um, so some of the things, uh, it's debatable if I'm being too picky. Uh, some of them are bigger, um, but I will say overall this uh, version is better than the 2019 uh, that we had as far as quality, but worse than the 2022 Model Y that we had. Um, so let's go get started and looking at some of the issues that we have. So the, the first and biggest issue that we have, and again, it's been um, about 36 hours since we took delivery, um, is right here. I'm gonna see if I can get it from a couple different angles so you guys can see. Um, it almost looks like there's, I don't know if it's more glass, happening or if whenever they they put it, uh, like an adhesive coat on the glass something happened uh, but it's definitely something that shouldn't be there and I noticed that delivery um, but again you're supposed to have the I think it's like three days 200 miles to go ahead and report these things in the app um, so they're definitely going to report this um, hopefully I don't know if they can fix it if they're gonna have to completely replace this whole panel honestly um, but yeah that's not the way it's supposed to be at all. Um, so I'm hoping, you know, they do the right thing and I'm hoping I don't have to end up in a, a back and forth with Tesla on this. But yeah, it's definitely something from the manufacturing process right there. Um, not quite sure exactly what it is, but that's going to be the, the first and uh, uh, biggest issue. So the second issue is probably the most common uh, with Model 3s. I didn't had it with my 2019 Model 3 uh, and not with my 2022 Model Y. Uh, but if you guys can see this raised issue. Um, so back in 2019, the uh, Dallas Service Center actually did fix this, but they did say that this is pretty common. Um, they said like, oh, it's supposed to lay down over time, but yeah, this is not qu high quality, especially for the price. Um, yeah, no other vehicle that I've had, and I've had a good amount of vehicles, uh, has ever had any issue like that, but it seems to be a consistent thing uh, with Tesla. So I don't know what's going on with that, but it's definitely gonna get reported in the app. So the next quality thing is going to go down to some of the paint. Um, I had a little bit of this um, in the Model Y, not in the 2019 Model 3, but if you guys can see uh, these edges, it's like this over overspray, almost like it dripped while it dried. If you guys can see that, I'm trying to make sure I can get a good angle, and I'll definitely put a picture of it here. Um, I'm not sure what that, that that's from, but my only guess is it's from um you know from the painting process that basically uh that this had like a drip and it basically dripped unless there's like extra metal that it's covering right there it's hard to tell i had a little piece like that on my model y um but yeah it's just kind of odd and not really high quality pretty sure it's going to be in these areas it's like a rough texture i don't know what's going on here it almost looks like uh like whenever you like patch a wall and you use like the like uh, like stucco. It almost looks like it was almost like patched here and then painted over. I don't know what's going on with that, but it's definitely uh, not a, a quality thing. Again, this is going to be covered by when this mechanism closes. Um, but definitely kind of just. And again, this is kind of the, the more picky thing of me of me being. Uh, but yeah, they definitely need to do a little bit better job because any other competitor out there whether it's Ford, Ram, you know, Mercedes, BMW, is not gonna have these types of issues. Um, yeah, just kind of weird and unesthetically pleasing. It definitely looks um, like, a, like an oversight. Next is gonna be this gap on the roof or the sill. It's definitely a gap here where water's gonna come in. Um, this shouldn't be like this. Um, I don't know how this passed their own quality inspection, but this is definitely an, an issue here. Um, they definitely need to fix this because this is just gonna cause problems. Um, as it rains, water's gonna pull. Um, yeah, that's not that's not as designed. Um, so definitely gonna have that in the request for them to address that because it's definitely gonna be in an issue. So um, yeah, I don't know if you guys have had similar things with your roofs. Didn't have this at all in my 2019, but again, my 2019 was built 100% in Fremont versus this is a, uh, you know, using the Chinese LFP, which I still think they're making them in Fremont. I think that they're just bringing the battery packs over from my understanding. But if I'm wrong, 
please comment below. I don't know if they're making them fully and bringing them over, but that's not to what I understand. But yeah, definitely kind of a, a big oversight there. So definitely not quality. I'm going to quickly talk about the alignment. Um, I think it's fairly close, but definitely seems like a, just a, a tad bit off. If you guys can see uh, from this angle where you can see it's coming and then there's a kind of a bigger drop off. So it's not exactly where it needs to be, but it's not like crazy off, but it's still a little off and it definitely can be tightened up on the quality. Again, you wouldn't see that with a Toyota um, or even with the Mach-E that I traded for, right? You're not going to see that type of thing um, just because other manufacturers, um, they just have their their uh, their processes are just a little more fine-tuned, right? So Tesla has amazing robotics and they can push out volume, um, but within that pushing out volume, there's some oversight and things like that. So kind of real quickly on the, the trunk alignment, I'll say that it's pretty good and pretty tight. Uh, this used to be like a big issue. I think they've definitely done some improvements here. Um, you can kind of see this gap is nice and even, uh, but there is like an issue with the paint in there. You guys can see right there. Um, I'm not sure. It looks like maybe the metal is actually chipped and the paint itself is, you know, you know, being pulled in right there. So definitely um, not aesthetically pleasing, but I don't think there's much they can really do about that. Uh, but it's just luck of the draw that I got a, a fabricated panel here that has a chip and they just painted over it. So a lot of, you know, major manufacturers are going to catch this type of stuff and either scrap it or try to fix it. But, you know, this is... Overall, I'd say the back is pretty good. Um, a lot better than some of them that I've seen. So, so good job on the back alignment, just those issues on that side with the cracked metal and then the extra paint overage, you know, dripping happening there. On to the uh, passenger side back seat, uh, kind of similar where you have the trim piece that's a little off. It's not as major as the other piece, but it's still off. So I'm definitely going to put it uh, in my request to see if they can get, get them to address it. Uh, but again, this type of stuff doesn't happen to other manufacturers. So I think Tesla is the best, you know, vehicles with technology. But again, their quality uh, still has room for improvement. This being my third one, uh, I, I'd say this might be the one with the most issues. Um, but they're all a little bit different. And then on to the other side, again, there's definitely an issue with the alignment here. So my other two Teslas didn't have this at all. Uh, so something about these standard LFP, um, how they place the roof. Um, yeah, definitely not of quality. And this is just going to have a water pull, right? So it's definitely going to be an issue that needs to be or resolved. Otherwise, I mean, it's going to either leak and get into the headliner or it's going to be there and, and cause rust. So it's definitely not a good look. It's definitely not what you want for a brand new vehicle that's 24 hours old. Now, as far as the front hood goes, everything does look pretty good. Um, so there's no like crazy gaps. You guys can see the gaps are pretty solid and pretty straight the whole way through. Um, what you're looking for is for them to be even. Uh, on some vehicles that need to be adjusted, you'll see like gaps that start off you know, one size and they change a different size. Um, I will note uh, that you still have that little bit of recessness, um, which again, kind of goes to the alignment. Um, I don't know how much it's capturing, but this hood piece, it's lower than this piece. So there's like a, a little um, difference there, but seems to be, you know, decent with intolerance. Uh, it's not perfect. It's not in anywhere near like Audi, you know, like German quality is going to be the top. Well, I'd say like Toyota and German quality, of course, can be like the top quality for manufacturing standards. Um, yeah, for sure. Like the quality is going to be the top. Uh, so Tesla is nowhere near that. I think, of course, their software is better. But the actual manufacturing uh, and the quality standards and just kind of like the level of care. Um, the, the issue kind of gets a little bit bigger here. Um, I get a little closer if you guys can see that a little better. Um, this is significantly lower than this right here. So, yeah, they could bring it to, to be a little bit better. Most people won't even see that type of thing. Um, it's just that I'm, you know, looking at it really closely, right? So, yeah, a little, little bit off there. All right, guys, so there you have it. Uh, definitely a couple of things. Uh, the biggest being that roof. Um, and that issue, it's going to bother me. Um, I saw it when we took delivery 
and I thought about like causing a big stink and not accepting delivery because of that. Uh, but you know, I went ahead and accepted delivery. So I'm hoping, uh, that they will resolve that because it is an issue. Um, anytime you have, uh, an issue with integrity of a whole piece of glass, it can just be the start of a, a bigger issue, right? So, um, if, if I don't, you know, put my foot down on that and the entire roof cracks in six months because of something and it starts from there, it's going to be on me, right? So it's, it's up to me to, you know, just be diligent and cognizant of that. Um, overall, the vehicle looks great. Uh, it's just a few things, a few just quality things um, that you just, you still don't see with other manufacturers. Um, I'm a huge Tesla fan, as you guys you're probably kind of, kind, of, kind of guess from the channel. Uh, I'm a huge Tesla fan, but the quality, you know, it's, it's getting better, but it's still not where it needs to be. Well, guys, thank you for watching this quick video over the uh, 2023 standard range Model 3 uh, quality. Uh, again, this is the car that's the cheapest electric Tesla out there. Um, basically, it's 43.5 now with the $7,500 rebate. You know, you're in the mid 30s, which is a really good price um, for everything that you get. And just for us, the standard battery is going to be enough. So we're definitely going to have a lot of content on this vehicle. I definitely think this is going to be a huge seller for across the country. Um, and I think, <clears throat> you know, the fact that you do some, that's doing so much with a smaller battery is also better for the environment. Because I think most people, um, they think they need the, the bigger battery. But the reality is with Tesla's amazing charging network, uh, 95% of the time, most for most people, they're going to be around home within 100 miles. So they're going to charge at home. Uh, but those for those, you know, four to 10 times a year that you are further away from home, uh, you have uh, literally the best charging network. So yeah, this is definitely going to be a great choice for most people. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this quick review of the 2023 Model 3 LFP. Hopefully you liked it. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up for me. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you want to see more videos like it, sub to the channel. Thanks a lot and have a great day.